There's a Korean product that ranked number one in the global export market for five consecutive years. We come across the news about it quite often, too. Behold, the star is semiconductor. So, let's look into what a semiconductor is. By definition, a semiconductor refers to a material that sits between the conductor and an insulator. Conductors such as gold, copper, iron, and aluminum are materials that allow electricity to flow. Insulators such as rubber, plastic, wood, and diamonds resist electricity, meaning that, in an insulator, electric current cannot flow. Semiconductors fall in between the two, which means that semiconductors sometimes have electrical conductivity and sometimes don't. Let's take love as an example. You normally don't feel anything towards other people, but when you meet someone that you have a crush on, your heart starts pounding. Let's put semiconductors in this scenario. When the impure substance called love comes to you, an insulator in this case, your heart starts to pound and you're activated by the substance. Similarly, by artificially adding impurities into a semiconductor, you can control the flow of current. Then, how is a semiconductor created? The starting point is an element called silicon. Does the term silicon sound familiar? Yes, you are correct. Silicon Valley, the high-tech IT research complex in the US. The name of this place came from silicon, an element in semiconductors. Silicon does not only represent the element, but also symbolically represents the high-tech industry. Returning to our main point, silicon is also the 14th element of the periodic table, just below carbon. It's easily found in sand, soil, or rocks, and it makes up almost 28% of the Earth's crust. Being the second most abundant element after oxygen, it is a special material and also a very common material at the same time. Silicon crystal has low electric conductivity and high resistance. Therefore, by adding impurities into it, you can make it have or not have current flow. Then, why is the presence or absence of electrical conductivity important? This is because semiconductors are used in digital devices. Semiconductors process all kinds of information using binary numbers, the simple zero and one. Utilizing this, you can control the current flow through converting it to a digital language of zeros and ones. Using this, we can control electronic devices and make them remember information. What was the world's first semiconductor? It was a transistor. In 1947, Bell Labs in the United States invented the world's first transistor. And from there, the modern history of semiconductors began. The word transistor is a combination of the word trans and resistor. It's the part that is in charge of amplifying and switching electrons in an electronic circuit. Through the switching function of the transistor, you can distinguish the binary signals 0 and 1. And a semiconductor chip, which is the assembly of countless transistors, is able to store information and perform operation, just as how the brain functions. Later, as the integrated circuit, or IC, was developed by Jack Kilby in 1958, the shape of today's semiconductors was created. ICs, which are made using semiconductors' electronic properties, are generally called semiconductor chips. Billions of transistors lie inside a chip as small as a fingernail, with multiple transistors, diodes, resistors, and capacitors in which the various microelectronic circuits of devices are attached into one chip. Today, we looked into the concepts of semiconductors. In summary, semiconductors are the key components of digital devices that change resistivity depending on an applied electric field. In our next video, we'll take a look into the examples of semiconductors that we use in our daily lives. If you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to like and subscribe.